Let's demystify the metaverse just for a moment, starting with where do you go to find the metaverse? Back in the 1990s, when people wanted to browse websites, you know you could log on to the World Wide Web, that URL that starts with www, which became a symbol of that unified world that we'd all inhabit, browsing all the information we wanted to find. Today, the metaverse is talked about as the next era of that unified space. In a world where we see so many different walled gardens of environments like Facebook, Twitter, all separate spheres of activity, the metaverse is aiming to be something unifying for the digital world. But actually already, if you log on to Ready Player Me, create your own avatar, it then allows you to explore multiple metaverse worlds. So. If you want a good starting point, first of all, check out that website, build your avatar, jump into all the different metaverse worlds, and through that, you'll get a sense of what it is that's being created around this. They are multiple environments. They are multiple spaces that we're inhabiting at the moment. There is no singular metaverse world, but the core of it is this sense of common co-presence with other people in a physical way that presently is mostly a kind of digital avatar, cartoon-like graphics, often very much like computer games. And if you are a big gamer, that's a very useful way of getting into this world and understanding what it's all about. But eventually the metaverse will connect up our physical and digital lives in powerful ways. And I think that's where it's going. So starting point, create your avatar, find out where these different worlds are, jump into them, start exploring them, start creating your metaverse. And that'll give you a good idea as to what's happening around this space.